Earlier this year, you won your first Grammy, which means you're three quarters of the way to an EGOT. That's the Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, and Tony. Yeah. Okay. So, of all the honors that you've received, which one means the most to you? Oh, wow. I, well, I have to say it was the very first award I ever got. I was a, a freshman at UCLA. I, I, it's in my office. It's it's all handwritten. A most promising newcomer. Aww. <laughs> oh, I love it. Thank you. I, well, I I feel like that's still applicable because we want you around for so much more. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting all um, I'm getting all emotional sitting next to you. It's that's so crazy. <laughs> um, you know what? I, I your humility has always been so impressive to me and your generosity. And despite your incredible, incredible talent, you have said that if it wasn't for um, a certain mysterious, helpful person in your, in your early mm -hmm. days, none of your success would have happened. Can you share that story? Well, again, I was at UCLA, and I was in an um, a, a opera workshop that also had a little musical comedy workshop thing that I was in. And so uh, we performed at a, a function in San Diego. Uh, uh, and I did a scene for Manny Get Your Gun. And uh, so I'm at the hors d'oeuvre table. And I'm swiping hors d'oeuvres to take home to my grandmother. <laughs> And there's this hat on the back, and I turned around, and I thought, I'm busted, you know. <laughs> and it was this gentleman and his wife who were at the party, mm -hmm. and uh, they were very complimentary. And he said, so what do you want to do with your life? And I said, well, someday I want to be able to go to New York and be on the stage and all of that. He said, well, why, why aren't you there now? And I said, well, I'm... I don't have the money. I'm, I'm saving up, and you know, maybe someday, because we were poor. <laughs> and he said, "Well, I'll lend you the money to go to New York." No. And I went, Whoa. and I thought it was a champagne talking. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, "Well, thank you." And, and his wife said, "No, no, he means it." And he gave me his business card, and he said, "You'd be in my office next Monday, and uh, and wow. we'll talk about it." So I didn't say anything to my grandmother who was raising me, you know, because I didn't want her to get all excited or nervous. You know. And our rent was $30 a month. Wow. And wow. even that was too much, wow. you know. So anyway, I got down to San Diego and went into his office. And he's sitting behind this huge desk. And he said, so uh, I really believe that, uh, you know, if you go to New York, I want to help you. And he wrote out a check. He lent me. He said, this is a loan for five years. Pay it back in, within five years, if you can, mm -hmm. for $1,000. Oh, wow. wow. I, oh, I've never seen that many zeros in my <laughs> life. <laughs> and he said, now, there are stipulations with this. And I went, uh-oh. What, yeah. what yeah. Right. Right. First of all, you must never reveal my name. Oh. Second of all, you, you must use the money to go to New York on. Third, if you are successful, you must promise to help others out. Wow. The way I've helped you. 